Hello everyone, I am Sham Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now in this particular video, we will discuss how to find the number of face of writing a number as a product of two co-prime numbers. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So beginning with our first topic, what are co-prime numbers? Now two numbers are said to be co-prime if they do not have any common factor between them other than the number 1. So let's take an example. So suppose we have two numbers, first number is 9 and the factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9 and the second number is 10, the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5 and 10 respectively. Now you can see that there are 3 factors of 9 and 4 factors of 10 but the only common factor between these two numbers is 1. So I can say that these two numbers are co-prime to each other. So let's take one more example for better clarity. Suppose our second number is 12. Now for 12, the number of factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 itself and the number 13, 13 has only two factors, 1 and 13. Now you can see that there is only one common factor between these two numbers and which is 1. So I can say that these two numbers are co-prime to each other. So in short, two numbers which do not have a common factor except 1 are called as co-prime or relatively prime to each other. So moving on to the topic of discussion for this video, writing a number as a product of two co-prime numbers. Now let's take an example. Suppose the number given to us was 21. Now 21 can be written in how many ways as a product of two different numbers. So 21 can be written as 1 into 21 and 3 into 7. Now we cannot write 7 into 3 and 21 into 1 because it is the same thing as 1 into 21 and 3 into 7. Now let's check out of these two which of them are co-prime pairs. Now 1 into 21 is a co-prime pair because their only common factor is 1. 3 and 7 is another co-prime pair because their only common factor is 1. So I can say that 21 can be written in two ways in which the product of the two numbers are co-prime to each other. Now let's take an another example to understand this concept better. So let's say the number given to us was 100. Now 100 can be written as 1 into 100, 2 into 50, 4 into 25, and last but not the least 5 into 20 and after this all the numbers will start repeating. Now let's check how many of them will be a co-prime pair. Now 1 into 100 is a co-prime pair, 2 into 50 is not a co-prime pair, 4 and 25 are co-prime pair and 5 and 20 are not co-prime pairs. So I can say that there are two co-prime pairs for this given number as well. Now these were basic examples which can be solved by finding the co-primes manually but this is a time consuming and it's also not the optimal approach. For example, if I tell you to find out the case for 10,000, you will not be able to find it manually because it will take a lot of time. So let's discuss how to find the number of ways in which we can write a number as a product of its co-prime quickly and effectively. So moving on with our method. So let's say we are given a number n and we have to find in how many ways we can write n as a product of two co-prime numbers. So the first step is to find the number of prime factors of the number n. So let's say the prime factors of n are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on and so forth and there are x prime factors of n. So if n has x prime factors then the number of phase in which it can be written as a product of two co-primes is equal to 2 raised to power x minus 1. So by this simple formula we can easily find the number of phase in which any number can be written as a product of two co-primes. And now let's solve some few basic examples so that if you have any doubt it will all be clear. So as you can see according to our first question we have to find that in how many ways 1500 can be written as a product of two co-primes. So according to a method we have to first find the prime factors of 1500. Now I know that 1500 has three prime factors 2, 3 and 5. Now if you don't know how to find the prime factors of a number, what you can simply do is simply prime factorize the number and remove all the powers and simply you'll get the number of prime factors of the number. Now if you don't know how to prime factorize a number, then I've made a separate video on this channel so you can go watch that video first and then come back to this video. So moving on with our question, we have 3 prime factors, so x is equal to 3. So according to our formula, 2 raised to the power 3 minus 1 will give the number of phase which is equal to 2 square and the value of 2 square is equal to 4. 
So the number of ways in which 1500 can be written as a product of two co-primes is equal to 4. So moving on to a second question, we have to find the number of ways in which 2520 can be written as a product of two co-primes. Now if you don't know, 2520 is a special number because it is the smallest number which is divisible by all the first 10 natural numbers. So if this number is divisible by all the first 10 natural numbers, then the prime factors of this number will be all the prime numbers between 1 and 10. So that will be equal to 2, 3, 5 and 7. So the number of ways will be equal to 2 to the power 4 minus 1 which is equal to 8. So the number of ways in which 2520 can be written as a product of two co-primes is equal to 8. Now moving on to our third question. So according to our third question, we have to find the number of ways for which 17 factorial can be represented as a product of two co-primes. Now if you don't know what does the factorial mean, factorial of a number will simply give you the product of all the numbers starting from the number 1 up to the number n and all these numbers must be a natural number. Now for example, if we have 3 factorial, then 3 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into 3. So 17 factorial will be equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into all the natural numbers up to the number 17. So we have to find that how many prime factors we will get up to 1 to 17. So the number of primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and 17 itself. So the number of prime factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So the number of ways will be equal to 2 raised to power 7 minus 1 which is equal to 2 raised to power 6. Now the value of 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64. So in 64 ways we can write 17 factorial as a product of two co-prime numbers. So in this section we will see the some important areas where questions on co-primes are asked in the competitive exams. First, we have just seen in this video, if a number n is given, then in how many ways we can write n as a product of two co-prime numbers. Second, if a number n is given, then find the number of co-primes which are less than or equal to it. And third, if a number n is given, then find all the sum of co-primes of the number which are less than or equal to it. So basically, these three are the most important topics from which questions in the competitive exam come. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,